Are you trying to use Webpack for the first time and running into a frustrating permission error? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle the EXS permission denied error together. I completely understand how annoying it can be when you're all set to run your production script and then bam, you hit a wall with a permission error. It's one of those common hurdles that many developers face. Let's dive into the specific issue at hand. One user recently asked, how can I resolve the EASS permission denied error when using Webpack? They mentioned trying to create a directory called dist, but received an error message instead. Sound familiar? Let's find a solution together. So, what does this error mean? The ES permission denied message indicates that your current user account doesn't have the necessary permissions to create the disk directory. This can happen for various reasons, including file ownership issues. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To resolve the permission denied error, the user should first check the current permissions of the directory where they are trying to create the dist folder. This can be done using the terminal. If the dist directory does not exist, the user can create it manually. This will ensure that they have the correct permissions to work with it. Next, the user should change the ownership of the dist directory to their user account. This will allow them to write files to this directory without permission issues. Finally, the user can try running their production script again. This time, they should not encounter the permission denied error. Fun fact, did you know that the term EASS stands for error access? It's a reminder that sometimes even in coding, we need to ask for permission. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests that the permission denied error may not be the real issue. It could be due to a simple mistake in your configuration where you accidentally used a single forward slash instead of a dot and a forward slash. This means NPM can't access the root directory, which is outside your user directory. The user advises checking your configuration file carefully. Here's a pro tip. Always check your directory permissions before running scripts that create files or folders. This can save you a lot of time and frustration. And there you have it. You should now be able to run your Webpack production script without any permission issues. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and remember to check your permissions regularly.